Candidates should be able to Describe the action of thin converging and thin diverging lenses on a parallel of light. Define and use the terms focal length, principal axis, and principal focus focal point. Draw and use ray diagram for the formation of an image by a converging and diverging lenses. Describe the characteristics of an image using the term in large, same size for diminished, upright, inverted, and real virtual. Describe the use of converging and diverging lenses to correct long-sightedness and short-sightedness. Lens diagram can be described using the following term. Principal axis, a line which passes through the center of a lens. Principal focus, or focal point, the point at which ray of light traveling parallel to the principal axis intersect the principal axis and converge. Focal length, the distance between the center of the lens and the principal focus. Converging lens. In a converging lens, parallel rays of light are brought to a focus. This point is called the principal focus. The distance from the center of lens to the principal focus is called the focal length. The line that passes through the center of a lens is the principal axis. Diverging lens. In a diverging lens, Parallel rays of light are made to spread out from a point. This point is the principal focus. It is the point from which the rays appear to diverge from. The distance from the center of lens to the principal focus is called the focal length. The line that passes through the center of a lens is the principal axis. The images produced by lenses can be one of two types, a real image and a virtual image. Real images. A real image is defined as an image that is formed when the light rays from an object meet each other and can be projected onto a screen. Virtual images. A virtual image is defined as an image that is formed when the light rays from an object do not meet but appear to meet behind the lens and cannot be projected onto a screen. Images from converging lens. Lenses can be used to form images of objects placed in front of them. The location and nature of the image can be found by drawing a ray diagram. When an object beyond 2f. Where f is focal point. Start by drawing a ray going from the top of the object through the center of the lens. This ray will continue to travel in a straight line. Draw a ray going from the top of the object traveling parallel to the axis to the lens. When this ray emerges from the lens it will travel directly towards the principal focus. Next draw a ray going from the top of the object through the principal focus until the center of lens, then traveling parallel to the axis to the lens. The image is found at the point where the above three rays meet. In this case, the image is real, diminished, smaller, inverted, and it is between f and 2f. When an object is 2f, the image is real, same size as the object, inverted, and it is at exactly 2f. When an object between 2f and f, the image is real, enlarged, inverted, and it is beyond 2f. When an object is f, the image can be not focused, because rays are parallel, not meet together. When an object between f and lens. Start by drawing a ray going from the top of the object through the center of the lens. This ray will continue to travel in a straight line. Draw a dashed line continuing this ray upwards. Next draw a ray going from the top of the object, traveling parallel to the axis to the lens. When this ray emerges from the lens it will travel directly through the principal focus f. Also, draw a dashed line continuing this ray upwards. The image is the line drawn from the axis to the point where the two dashed lines meet. In this case, the image is virtual, the light rays appear to meet when produced backwards. Enlarged. Upright and the image is formed on the same side of the object. This case is the use of a single lens as a magnifying glass. We can see that the image moves away from lens, 
and its size increases when the object moves toward the lens. While the image moves toward the lens, and its size decreases when the object moves away from the lens. Images from diverging lens. Diverging lenses can also be used to form images, although the images are always virtual in this case. If an object is placed further from the lens than the focal length f, then a diverging lens ray diagram will be drawn in the following way. Start by drawing a ray going from the top of the object through the center of the lens. This ray will continue to travel in a straight line. Next draw a ray going from the top of the object, traveling parallel to the axis to the lens. When this ray emerges from the lens it will travel directly upwards away from the axis. Draw a dashed line continuing this ray downwards to the focal point, F. The image is the line drawn from the axis to the point where the above two rays meet. In this case, the image is virtual, the light rays appear to meet when produced backwards. Diminished, the image is smaller than the object. Upright. If an object is placed between the lens and the focal length F, then a diverging lens ray diagram will be drawn in the following way. Start by drawing a ray going from the top of the object through the center of the lens. This ray will continue to travel in a straight line. Next draw a ray going from the top of the object, traveling parallel to the axis to the lens. When this ray emerges from the lens it will travel directly upwards away from the axis. Draw a dashed line continuing this ray downwards to the focal point, F. The image is the line drawn from the axis to the point where the above two rays meet. In this case, the image is virtual, the light rays appear to meet when produced backwards. Diminished, the image is smaller than the object. Upright. We can see that the images are always virtual, diminished, and upright when the objects are any position. Correcting sight. Correcting short-sightedness. People who are short-sighted cannot see things that are far away, and only see things that are close to them. This is because the eye refracts the light, and brings it to a focus before it reaches the retina. This can be corrected by using a diverging lens to refract the light, and bring it on the retina. Correcting long-sightedness. People who are long-sighted cannot clearly see things that are close, and can only clearly see things that are far away. This is because the eye refracts the light rays and they are brought to a focus beyond the retina. This can be corrected by using a convex or converging lens to refract the light and bring it on the retina. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, and leave a positive comment. Your support will help me to continue making videos and encourage me to create new content. Thank you.